Against CD Lamb. This time, CD Lamb's in the. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> We're back for another week. The boys, the Vault yeah, Geo podcast. Here with J.A., with Big Georgie Boy. J.A.'s broken his chair already, so we're off to a hot start. I was trying to lift it. I realized it's the one going any higher. I'll, I'll lift you up when you fall over. Boys, I'm actually welcome, an athlete, welcome. so it's, I want to be higher in my chair now. Hey, Before we get to we off the top? make sure we get on the social media, Please. get on the TikTok, Instagram, Facebooks, La Twitter. We posted Good. a great TikTok the Best today. real yes. TikTok of all time is up. Off the top. Go find it. Off the top. Before we get into anything on that rundown, I want to talk about James and the fact that he ran 100 metres in under some fucking shout out to yeah. you, <laughs> 15 I, seconds. I didn't realise. <laughs> Georgie said you wouldn't do it under 20. I, I was 15 convinced. seconds flat. I, if you had said to me, chuck a hundy on it, that he's not going to do it in under 20, I would have put a hundy like that, bro. Well, I would have too. He would have a hundred million to bet against you because he beat Tyreek Hill. <laughs> he beat True by story. The math. In, by the math. According to that math, you he, beat Tyreek Hill, Hill, Hill and you have a hundred million dollars. Shout out to Billy. <laughs> it's not the first time you've had a hundred million in your life, J.A. We born with your silver spoon in your mouth. It's tough sometimes. It's, it's us. It's just like, you know, how many more hundred millions do I need? You know what I mean? Like, yep. I agree. For this fine mahogany table, I've already more. got one. You know what I mean? <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Is mahogany George, do you think? I don't think so. No. It, might, it might be pine. I think, I think, it, I think it just might be sawdust. <laughs> just having a I just glued side. it all together with all the offcuts of saw. <laughs> um, um, yeah. shout, shout out to sh- and, and also ch- check out the socials because that, that running form, very, very Forrest Gump, very Michael Johnson early. Do you want to know what my mind thing was? 90s. It was the, my stride is all I have. So when I was lining up, La- I'm like, and you laid it out my there stride is everything. And then I thought to myself, oh, do I just kind of half ass? And I'm like, you know what? If I'm fucking nah, running it and if it's on it. film, yeah, you're doing I it. am selling the fuck it's out. Like, it's like any NFL player. You don't want to push shit on film. You also, put also film. pulled my twing my hammy about, <laughs> about 10 meters out from finishing. And Richie, who was down the other end, obviously, old uh, host Richie saw it and was like, did you just twing your hammy? I'm like, yep. Yeah, a little bit. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> and it's still like, I played on the Saturday. It was fine. But I can just imagine JL nope. if I've been like, yeah. So by the way, you know that 100 meter <laughs> sprint that you're all laughing at? Yeah, I did my hand. I did my hand and I can't play. <laughs> yeah. Whole squad there to watch it too. Jerry Mon. Shout out. Very good fun. Shout out. Good fun. Good uh, look, fun. it went better than I thought it was going to go. It went a shitload better than I thought because, I, as I said, I would have bet an exorbitant amount of money you weren't going to do it in under 20 seconds. So, yeah. well done, bro. There you I'm go. surprised. Let's get stuck into it, boys. Let's do it. Big news. Brocky Sheffner today. Brocky Sheffner. Oh, shout out. What, what do you got for me, dude? Bill, Bill Belichick. Done in New England. End of the year. Coxman no, no longer. Coxman Bill is done. He's going to have plenty of time to run around Nantucket. Oh, he'll be just he'll, slanging. You know, he'll be slinging dick full time now because he's got nothing else to do. I, is it, do you reckon this is, is it, actually true? Is, is it legit? A, a lot of people reported it. Who's a lot? What I don't get is. Basel Sports. Is it, is it, it must be his call then. Because I would have said nah. the performance he's put in defensively the last the defense has been good. eight weeks, which is his thing. Has been unbelievable. I, I I think I know what's happened. I think Robert Kraft and he, and 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 the uh, management have tapped him on the shoulder and said, "Billy boy, thank you very much. You've been a great servant for twenty years. You've made us a fuck ton of money. Yep. Thanks very much. We are going to more than likely be picking what in the draft, second or third in the draft. They're second at the moment. Yeah, and and that's they they're not going to be winning any more games. They're going to be tanking the fuck out of the rest of the season. If and Carolina not. would have to win three games of the four. Right, and that ain't going to happen because Bryce Young's terrible. Um, he's seeing yeah. eighty six yards in the weekend. Oh, yeah. Jesus in a full Christ, fucking game bro. of football. It was like eighteen of forty. I reckon I could throw for more yards. than eighty for more than eighty six. It yards. was disgusting. So. They probably tapped him on the shoulder and said, listen, we're going to follow what every other modern NFL franchise is doing, which is when we draft a young quarterback, we're going to bring in a young offensive-minded coach yep. so they can work together and come up together. And I think that that's what's happened. They've just said, listen, we're going to tap you on the shoulder and right off in the sunset, you can you can leave on your own accord. You're not going to be fired. We're not going to tarnish your legacy. We're just going to say, thanks very much for the last 20 years. We're just naturally the natural progression of time we're just going to move on and i think that's a good way to do it because yeah. robert Kraft and the Kraft family and that organization like you can hate the patriots as much as you want but they're pretty, them. pretty classy organization and they kind of yeah. like run a nice good tight ship there and i think that that's the right way to do it after he's done so much for them over 20 years they already made the decision after the week 10 loss against the colts in germany 
is when they sort of made the decision. I'm not surprised had because, the because Max Bill. terrible and like you, you can, and as we know, everybody knows that unless you've got a stud franchise quarterback, you can't fucking win in the NFL. Well, look at with the injuries this year. You look at the teams that are becoming outliers now. It's the teams with still quarterbacks playing at a yeah, high level. Yeah, yeah. Like it's so fucking obvious. Other than probably Herbert at the Chargers, every team with a high level quarterback is in a in their position to win their division. Yeah, hundred and, and make the playoffs. Hundred yeah. percent. Yep. So, um, yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll wait until it comes out of the horse's mouth, but. I think it's probably time. What, um, what do you think the chances are Snake McDaniels comes back? Oh, no please no. No chance. Please no. Well, we're going to find if out. That happens, was, if that happens, I'm boycotting the NFL. I'm not watching this year. If That's it. I'm that, done. You're a liar. That's That's a liar. You, <laughs> I'm a, I am a liar. You I'll, are. Last, I'll last two weeks of the preseason. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Um, no, we're going to find out if Snake McDaniels is Robert Kraft's boy or Bill Belichick's boy. Oh, well, he's definitely Bill Belichick's boy. You'd hope so, because if Robert Kraft brings him back, we all know that it was because yeah. Kraft loves Kraft him. Kraft him there, yeah. Mm. No, no, no. I think, think that would be the worst decision. I, I personally think, and, and, and talking about Bill and sort of taking that two steps forward, if you look at the league, I think this – Coming off season, there's going to be a lot of head coaching jobs up for up for grabs. Well, how many is there already? Is there only one? Two, I believe. Well, Oakland. Yeah. Oakland. Bill. Did, did, oh yeah. Well, did did Vegas, Vegas and Carolina. Fired? Yeah, yeah Vegas. Vegas. Sorry, Reich got fired. Yeah. 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 So that's and that's three, three. I would Bill. say charges charges daily oh. gone for fucking sure. Ron yeah. Rivera will retire. He'll be yeah. asked to retire. Sure, right surely the enemy will take over as head coach there. You'd think so. Well, why else would they bring him in? He's put together like he's he's made Sam Howell look like a decent quarterback. Yeah. So why I, I why would, else would they bring him in other than that? Yeah. You gotta think that Dan Quinn is gonna be he's gonna be a head coach somewhere next year. So he'll be taking one of those jobs for sure. I'm not like I he's it's been, it, it's three seasons in a row now he's had multiple head coach offers and said no. Yeah, I think he was hanging around waiting for McCarthy to fuck out this year, but they're playing too well. <laughs> I think that's what he was hanging around for, bro. I I, I don't like he's been a head coach, right? At yeah. The Falcons. Yep. He's had that horrible Super Bowl loss. If I was him, right, the Cowboys are basically paying him head coach money. They are. So I unless, think it's about the money. Unless you're motivated to be a head coach again, yeah. which I don't know his motivations. No, but nobody. But if know. I were him, I'd be like, they're paying me well. I'm respected here. I can just keep running my defense and not worry about the rep. Because he doesn't have to make the finals. Don't have to shit. do anything. You don't have to GM stuff. And, it's and decent. I fucking, wouldn't leave. And they're winning. Yeah, I just wouldn't leave. Yeah. Personally, that that's my personal thing. If yeah. that was if I was him with what he'd been through, point, I'd be like, point, I'm not going back to fail again when I'm right now I'm the hero with the fucking league. Your point's a valid one because and it just you can look at that in life. Like if you're happy in your job, you wouldn't leave a job you're happy with. And they keep giving him more money. Every every season yeah. they're like, Hey, you're doing such a good job. Yeah. We know we know the, the dogs are at the door saying, Come and be head coach. Here's some more money. Yep. Stay. They're rewarding yeah. him for his like that's that's good. That's yeah, good. Yeah, and eventually Mike McCarthy will fuck it up. Yeah. Like and it like it's McCarthy's on safe yet. If he, he could fuck something up in the playoffs that yeah. bad that they're like, if, if you go, straight, you're done, Mike. If you go oh, straight, that's a, a week one, a week one exit. It if, would be if, a any, bad, if anything, would be bad. like you, you think in the playoffs, if he has no balls on fourth down, like the things that have been keeping McCarthy that made me think, okay, he's turned the corner a bit, is him, you know, going for fourth and two. Making big yeah, calls, yeah, yeah. not kicking field goals let, all the time, and letting Dak throw the fucking ball, letting them downfield, letting the offense run the way yeah, it should be yeah. run, like letting CD Lamb play the positions he should be playing. Yep. Like, I think he's, you know, what he could kill himself with is if he goes back into his shell yeah, goes, in the post, which, which is what he does every year. Yeah, yeah. and then that's, that's I think he's painting himself almost into a corner. And right now, fucking Dak Prescott and CD Lamb are his bridge across the paint into the mm, corner, mm, mm. but. He could stomp on their fucking back so hard yeah. and, and finish in that corner. Like he's almost making it harder. He could make his failure worse now with how much success he's. Yeah, had. yeah, because it's like the high, the peak, the low, of the valley. I know what you're saying. Yeah. So, so, what's I, I think, so what's a pass mark issue for McCarthy? You've got to win a, AFC championship, uh, NFC championship. Game. They've got to make the make the championship game. Oh, I, I think, think so if too. you if you lose to the Eagles or the Niners in the divisional round, you uh. you can probably eat it because it's going to be on the road. Like I think if if it's, if you're blown out by him. Different story, but if you Dude, have a tight game where you, you guys, lose a tight, you guys game. could still be the one seed. Yeah, absolutely, I think. I think if we're the one seed and you're, we don't make the NFC Championship game, he's. I think you're done. one or five. You're one or five. That's that. So if you, win, I almost think at this point you'd prefer to be five. I'd, I'd be fine and want, and want to smack the shit just out to of get the that, NFC, get that the tune NFC up South game. And it both like I know it. it's a risk, but I don't think against, personally, against Atlanta. Fuck. Well, it's it's just an extra game, Tampa. It's just an extra game you got to play. Yeah, yeah. no, nah, all the Saints, all three of them are tied. 
Yeah. I'm not backing I'm not backing any of them to do anything. No, no, but it's it's still it's a risk. You've got another game like any given Sunday, like you've got to play sure. another game. But I'd be the, the, I the bigger risk is just injuries more than a, I don't think the week off would help the Cowboys that much. I think yeah, because they're, they're rolling. Yeah, the they're only rolling. thing it would do is let them play at home. You know, which desperately, been, so. you know who desperately needs a week off my boys. The Eagles. My boys, Eagles. Is, well, do you want to go to the next topic? Let's get to it. Because I didn't put on this way, George. No, I didn't do I, it. I, I know who fucking did it. I admit it. I did it last week. It's got your fucking stink all over it. I did it last week. Who's got two thumbs and barracks for the winning team on the way? Yeah. Fuck the Eagles. Yeah. Um, no, nah, it was the Cowboys. Fucking, I think I messaged you in the first quarter, going, "This is a fucking physical game." Yeah, 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 yeah. And in fairness, for for a quarter, we kept up. Yeah, and I think for the, a quarter, the Cowboys we were literally. Like, I think the Eagles were like, "All right, we're gonna stem this. We're gonna stem the tide here." Yeah, and then AJ like, Brown's jaw, yeah, and they're all yeah, jawing, yeah. and all of a sudden they were like, "These dogs are not, they're not backing they're, down. They're not backing down." And like they look shell shocked. They yeah, genuinely no, look shell shocked. I, I think we just look. I think we just look fucking gassed. We just yeah, we just look done. I said you guys have come off a really hard stretch, which yeah. I'll, I said I'll, I'll give I'll give credit where it's due. It's been a fucking tough six game stretch, and I think Seattle's going to be in Seattle's going to be. I don't think they're good, but they're tough at home. They're tough at home. They play hard. Yeah, you kind of need to get to that, and then you'll get those three games at the end, and I think you'll win all three of them between all the Giants with um with uh, Devito, Tommy you, Tommy Cutlets. You never know. I don't think you'll lose to them twice, but hey, division hey, games are made to be lost. Division games are you can weird. Look, look what happened this week with the Bears yeah. and um and 100%. Detroit. Yeah, the, the division games are weird. But I, I'm going to shock you guys with the biggest takeaway. Do, do you know who won the game for the Cowboys on the weekend? Brandon Autry, the kicker. The kicker, oh, dude. If yeah. he doesn't, after like as I said to you, all Prescott has to do is not turn the ball over in this yeah, second correct. half. Yeah, correct. Keep yeah. doing what he's doing. Yep. That fumble was atrocious by him. It was really bad. Yeah. They get the ball back. Like, it's a 12-point game at that point or even 11-point game yeah, at that like point. That. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, fuck, here we go. They drive down the field. Prescott made a few good throws, got stuck on a penalty, which I won't go into the fucking refs because oh. I don't understand how they call every Cowboys offensive lineman for holding every time an Eagles D lineman just jumps out to the side and sticks yeah, their hands up. Yes. But Micah Parsons, on the play that Devontae Smith dropped the touchdown yep. catch, Micah Parsons goes to run away and Lane Johnson, who's an amazing tackle, has his shoulder yeah, and just yeah, drags yeah, him yeah, onto yeah, the yeah, ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Parsons is just like, are you are you absolutely uh, fucking kidding me? Yeah, like, I'm, I'm being held here. <laughs> yeah, like, and I said, I don't mind if you're going to call Tiggy Touch nonstop bullshit. It has to be called every you single time or stop. I prefer it if they didn't call any of those holding calls because yeah, yeah. I don't think it's holding when a guard or a tackle is dominating a D lineman and then he just goes to run out to the side yeah. and they hold for half a second yeah, and they throw correct. the handle. Yeah, I don't yeah, think that's yeah. holding. Yeah. I think that's not the offensive lineman's fault. As long as they let go straight away when they realize, oh shit, he's running away from me. Yeah, yeah. If they go like that and let go, I think that's clean. Yeah, it's when they're trying to get around the outside and they're just... And they pull and them they, down. They, well, no, they give yeah. up. Yeah. The defender actually gives up that, actually and that's trying what, to get like, away. Jalen Carter yeah. did that about five times on the weekend and Trey Smith got called for holding every yeah, time. He just yeah. gave up and let Trey Smith stand it and then Prescott would boot and he'd start running and he'd be like, he'd oh, jersey and pull yeah, for yeah, half yeah, a second. Yeah. I'm like, fine, if you're going to call it, it has to be called on every single one yeah. then because Parson, I feel I like... Think just a quick comment off. on the refing. Like, I, I know that it's easy It's easy to shit on the refs and I'm going to do it. It's been um, awful. This it's shit. been awful. This yeah. year. It's been really bad. It's been... I think it's it's been, been really, the worst, the worst year worst you can in remember? recent memory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, other than the replacement refs that year. Oh, well, that, they that were was... so bad, but... Um, the refing has been atrocious, but no, the, yeah, Autry kicking that sixty-yard field 60 goal, and then he followed it up with a fifty-nine, but or like he, he kicks that field goal, and it's like the Eagles. You could see they were just you could like see the gas. Just it, was, it was an eleven-point game, then it was a, it was a two-touchdown game. Yeah. They're all just they're going. I don't know if we can score two more times on these guys without them scoring again. Yeah, he just drilled, and then he 60. kicked a fifty-nine yarder yeah. on the next one. I was yeah. just like, man, this dude's fucking home. Um, Unbelievable. Bro. And also, Jalen Ferguson is. I think he could be the next sort of George Kittle sort of operation. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah, he was good. Yeah, so yeah. He is tough as fucking nails. He's yeah. impressed the crap out of me in his second year. So, oh, what, so what do you think is going wrong with the Eagles? Injuries and we're, hurts and we're is, gassed. Hurts. He's clearly, he's, he's clearly not. He's, he's dinged up. You yeah. can tell he can't move as well. Yeah. I think Kelsey's dinged up. Yeah, yeah I think so too. You look yeah. a few of the times, like I haven't seen him get pushed around like that. Yeah. So they've got to get healthy. Yeah. Um, but how? <laughs> well, that's the problem. You're into the slug, you're into the slug fest now. Yeah, like, I this know. is the it's worst the time. It's the worst time to get injuries now. Your man. pass rush looks like it's run out of legs. It, it, everyone's just out of gas on defense. Like Reddick had gas. two sacks on the weekend. They were both junk time. Yeah. Prescott holding onto the ball for yep. way too long and yep. literally going, I'm just gonna take a sack here so the clock keeps running because yep. no one's open. Yeah. Like there was those sorts of situations. He wasn't impactful on the game yep. at all. Sweat, Josh Sweat looks like he hasn't been impactful for yeah. Six weeks right yeah, now. He has yeah. not made a play. Jalen Carter's 
good. He's, he's outstanding. He's good. Um, Fletcher Cox played decent. In yeah, patches, he had a decent game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they just look like they've run a bit out of energy. Yeah. Um, I think that we, we just look gassed. I also yeah. think that this is the sign, and this we talked about this last week with Nick Sirianni, and I, you had great points on it with AJ Brown upsetting Debo Samuel. He did the same again this week. Came out to Stephon Gilmore before the game started, Bro. told him he was old, and fired Bro. him up. I'm like, when and I he think he completely fucking towed us up. Mate, he was he, everywhere. That's the best man. game he's, he's He has not been good that good this year. That was the best game he played. He by was a while. everywhere. Like, that fourth just, down dump off to oh. Devontae Smith, and he just mowed him down like he was nothing. Nothing. Like, forced a fumble on AJ Brown. Yeah. yeah. Um, forced a fumble on Devontae Smith as yep. well. Like, yep. I think, I think the Eagles of their persona might might hurt them in the end because this persona of we're going to talk shit, we're going to be tough, we're going to yeah. do this. Well, all of a sudden the Niners. They're, they're fucking tough. Yep. And they're happy to talk some shit to you too, and they'll walk the walk. Yep. Cowboys, yep. They've got some tough dudes. Demarcus Lawrence is a fucking tough guy. Tough the guy. offensive line. Cowboys, it's no secret since Prescott has been playing really well. How many of their starting offensive linemen have missed a game in that in since that game? Since the last Eagles game, which was when he started dominating. Yep. Yeah, since how many offensive really well. starting offensive linemen have missed a game for the Cowboys? I don't know. None. Yeah. None. Zero donuts. Donuts. Yeah. donuts. And, that's and that's the difference. It is a massive difference. Massive, bro. It's a massive difference. Like the tush push is now becoming an issue because Hertz is getting banged up. Yeah, he's, he's running up. the ball on those goal line situations too much. We all knew it was going to come. Yeah. But he's so good at it that you want to keep doing it. Yeah. But it's going to hurt him in the end. Mm. And I think just the the physicality of the way they play, it's just starting to catch up. Yeah, I know them. what you're saying. It's like their biggest strength is becoming their biggest weakness. Yeah, I, and I they're, they're shit talking. Like they've got to they've got to shut the fuck up. Yeah. Because right now. They've, and I said, I still think they're, they're a top three team in the NFC, mm. top three team in the NFC. I don't think anyone in the AFC is as good as the 49ers, Eagles, or Cowboys, personally. Maybe, maybe oh, I Ravens, think are, I think Ravens, Ravens are. are good. I think the Bills on their day are pretty fucking good, too, just quietly. Yeah, that's, that's only because it's fucking Josh Allen running yeah. around. Like oh, well, we'll talk about him later. But, yeah, I, I just think that there's – like, and the other thing with Jalen Hurts is he's turning the ball over way too much. Like, yeah. everyone – Shit cans Josh Allen for his yeah. turnovers. Shit cans the guy. Yep. Oh, he's costing his team. He's costing his team. Jalen yeah, Hurts has had though. eleven interse- <laughs> eleven interceptions. <laughs> sorry, eleven fumbles this year. Lost. Yeah, and that's bad. No, sorry, eleven interceptions and seven fumbles lost. Yep. That leads the league in turnovers. Yep. That's that's not a winning recipe. He does not be. Josh Allen has the second best touchdown to interception ratio in the yeah. league. Yeah, yeah. I, I believe that. Yeah, that's the, like I mean, you can't crucify one. Like Jalen Hurts needs to take some responsibility, and if he's dinged up, it, be what, injured or get off the either play year, or get off hardly, the field. Because last year, hardly turned the ball. Never over, turned the ball. Was, over. Yeah, and that and the the, the the defense was generating turnovers. Turnovers. Yeah, Slay and Bradbury have absolutely lost steps. Yeah, they have lost a step. Their back end. Sure. They've got. The only white safety in the league and plays it, and, for the Eagles. Like the, the reason why I'm so fucking like disheartened by these two losses is that, you know, the two things that are like we're not getting any pressure on the quarterback, that we're not generating any pressure at all, no. and we're not generating turnovers, which is what what our defense is known for. Mm. We're just not not doing anything. It's well, like we're just so we've just become so like um. Do you know what the Eagles have become though? The, the 49ers and the like, Cowboys are designed. They're just des- like the Cowboys have been designing their team for three years now to do this to the Eagles. They've developed speed inside at yeah. their D tackle, speed on the edge. They're not overly big because you don't want to have a you, you don't want to have a punching match with the bigger guy. Yeah, they want to outwork you. Like Odigi Zua, the Cowboys D tackle, he's so fast. He's an undersized D tackle, yeah. but he gave he gave Dickerson absolute fits because yeah. he was yeah. so fast. Whereas yeah. If Dickerson's going big on big with another fat guy, yeah, yeah, he's going to maul him. Yeah, Dickerson's enormous. A hundred percent. So that's like so they've they've yeah. built this team and like. I think the Cowboys are going to have a similar problem, similar problem as the Eagles were with the 49ers, which we've seen earlier this year as well. Because what the 49ers can do and where the Cowboys are going to struggle, bro, bro, is fucking, run up your ass. Everyone, everyone is uh, 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 the 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 Eagles, the Cowboys lost. I can take that on the chin. Like, yeah. well, you know, we 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 got beat up. The the 49ers game, everybody is fucking wide open all the time. Like yeah. our secondary fucking sucks, man. We no, can't it, cover it, anybody. It's what the Niners do because they're so good at running the football. And the Eagles and the Cowboys don't have linebackers. Yeah, no, we've got like, loaded linebackers. Like, all. We have a safety in Cox playing linebacker who's doing a good job, but it's mainly in coverage because we yeah. get him, we get him in long, in long third down runs. He covers, we pass rush. Like that's the beauty, and it's the yeah. same with the Eagles. Yeah, 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 correct. They've yeah. got smaller linebackers; they can't take on those physical teams, and that's nope. going to be the issue. You know, when you take on Ravens, Bills, Chiefs to an extent, they haven't been as good this year running the ball. Yeah, but the Niners, no, but especially, like the Ni- the Lions. Like, what do you reckon? Like the Cowboys with the Lions in two weeks. I guarantee what the Lions are going to do. They're going to run. They're going to like, well, we we aren't going to pass the ball. We're just going to run mm, over. Yeah. Now, if you have a good offense, which the Eagles have had in the past, and the Cowboys are humming on offense at the moment, 
you score points and get in front, so they have yeah. to go out of what they do. Yeah, we, they can't run the ball because then the shortens the game. Yeah. That's that's the that, that's how the Cowboys beat the Eagles. That's how the Niners did it. They got an early lead, early lead. and then went, and you then know what? Yep. Stop us. Yeah, stop yeah. us running the ball, and then longevity kicks in. So, but I said like. We both thought. I, I said on the weekend. I thought the Cowboys were going to win. Like yeah, I'd be disappointed 100%. if they lost at home the way they've played. Yeah. Um. It opens up the NFL. Like the the NFC is now. There's three teams. There's a three horse race now, and it's great. It's going to be a great run home. Cowboys runs a bit more challenging. 49ers runs is actually pretty. So easy. so I looked at it. Basically, Eagles have to win. They have to win out to win the division. If the Cowboys win. win out. Yeah, which they should. Well, we play the Bills and the Lions and then the Dolphins. So we play the Bills and the Dolphins that's a, away. That's a tough run. And the Lions at home. The Dolphins are pretenders. I think so too. But yeah, I I, I still think they playing be, them in Miami is tough. You we had them at home. You have to beat them. So that's, that's, so fair. that's fair. In, in, a three game, in the next three-game stretch, we play Buffalo and Miami away and the Lions So you've only home. got three? You don't have four games left? No, and then we play the Commanders the last game. Oh, yeah. Which won't be an easy game. No, and, it, and we don't want it to come down to that. We want yeah. to have whatever's tied up, tied up by then. Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. want to have that situation. Yep. But it's it's a tough run. And the 49ers and Eagles, their runs. Like, I think the Eagles... I actually think the Eagles will lose to Seattle this week. I've got a real feeling about it. Fuck, if, if we do, like, we're, the one seed's done for sure. Only if the Cowboys win. There's a real chance the Cowboys lose to Buffalo in Buffalo. Yeah, because Buffalo, like, they've they got they're some confidence well. now. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. I said, and, and it means more to them right now. Like, they're fighting well, for they're, they're fighting playoffs. They're playoffs, yeah. Cowboys, yeah. Eagles, and 49ers, they're in. They're not yeah. losing all their games. In the yeah, yeah. Like, they're just that. not going to. They're, they're all going to win, like, 12 games. Easy. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it'll be interesting. It's a good run home for the NFC. Um, while we're just on the NFC, do you want to talk about the Lions and what the fuck's going on? Let's yeah, go I've, got, I've got a theory. I've got a theory. So, I, A, well, A, it's a division game against against Chicago. B, yeah. Justin Fields actually remembered how to play football. Yeah. <laughs> right? He actually played pretty well, let's be honest. And Goff uh, didn't. So, and third, and most importantly, like, I told you guys, man, when the weather gets cold, that's when you find out what these quarterbacks can do. Jared Goff, Cannot play in the cold. He cannot play outside in a dome. He's fucking Dan Marino yeah. in a dome. Yep. Mm. Out in the cold, he is fucking McCorkle. <laughs> well, this has always been Goff's slide: is that he doesn't have a cannon of an arm. Yeah. That he, you know, in LA, it was the same thing. Correct. He, he yeah. couldn't play in the clutch moments when things yeah. got serious. He failed. Like it was all fun and games last year when they were on a running or like like on a winning streak, but no one really fucking cared about them. Now that there's pressure, he's always struggled under that. Yeah, because they're expected Um, to win the division now. 100%. And and they will. They're three games clear of Green Bay. Like they're going to win that. They will. But that, but like, but at that, at this point now, it's the expectation has exceeded. I don't think they can, I don't think they can win the NFC. And five weeks ago, I thought they could. Yeah. I I don't disagree. But now the expectation, what what do you think the realistic expectation is for them now in the building to win a playoff game? Win a playoff game. Yeah. I think so. I think that would be successful. That would be a successful season. Absolutely yeah. would be for them. And yeah. I think they're still on track to do I that. I think they need to win 12 games and win a playoff. So if they're, they're going to get a home, they're going to get a home playoff game. Yeah, right? they'll finish as the three seed. Third seed three. Yeah, so they'll the get a home playoff game against the sixth seed. Which would be... Vikings at the moment. Could be Green Bay. Fuck, you get a, a division, division playoff game. Division playoff game. Yeah. But, but at but, home, in a dome. Yeah, yeah I agree. But, so you'd have to give them the, the edge. Could yeah. be right. Could be the Vikings. Could be the Packers. Could be the Rams. Could be Seattle. Could be Seattle. Yeah. Could be the Falcons, could be the Saints. Yeah. They're all even. But more than likely, they're going to be playing a home playoff game and they're going to win that. So I think that's a pass, man. I think yeah. that's a good season. Yeah. No, I agree too. I think. And because you've got to remember, you've got to remember that, like, also, you're dealing with the biggest fucking losing team in the history exactly, of football. Exactly. Exactly. That's right. If, even if they get to the playoffs and they get a home playoff game, that's what's certain they're going to win in the dome. The, you got to remember, these I'm guys. certain they're going to win. But the thing, these guys haven't played playoff football. For how no, many years? At, at they, home, in the no, game, I'll give them no. the edge. Last playoff game, the playoff game, they game, they played the Cowboys, beat them. Remember, they had that atrocious PI call that didn't get called late in the game. They would get more well, vaguely. They either get too big for the prize, and they will fuck it up. I think they'll win a playoff. They game. they I should go if they don't play at home, they're more chance to win. The I also think they've game. got four weeks back to get their mojo back. Something sure. Fun What's fact. their run home? Can you find their run Easy. home, please? Bro? Fun fact for uh, Detroit: as I find their uh, run home. Mm. The homicide rate's been the lowest it's ever been in Detroit. In Detroit, wow. Since 1962. Wow. The last time they had a good season. That's a fun fact. Fun fact. So it's Detroit's fault for all the murders, not the gun laws. Not the gun laws. It's amazing. 
It's amazing. Let's get a good football team. You, you know you what? Know, I need to apologize know. to the NRA. I'm sorry, guys. I, I came at you wrong. It's it's Detroit football team. But team. saying that, if uh, NRA you, wants to give us some money, you we'll and I both follow Carlton. You know how much our mood is affected by how well they play or not. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's true. Broncos, Vikings, Cowboys, Vikings. So I, I think the Cowboys will. I think they'll kick the shit out of them at home. The Cowboys. It's in Cowboys Stadium. In, in in Dallas, no one's no one's beating Cowboys. No one's beating the Cowboys in Dallas this year. Well, them and well, Miami was the other team, but they lost on the weekend. But the only two undefeated teams at home. So right. It's just the Cowboys. Yeah. No, home. no one's beating the Cowboys at home mm. this year. So it's all also run home. Uh, Broncos at home, Vikings away, Cowboys away. Uh, then Vikings at home. Again. I reckon they'll split those games. I think Broncos will beat them this week. Not not in Detroit. No, yeah, mate. There's not many teams playing better than the Denver Broncos right cross, now. Cross, cross conference as well. I don't yeah. know, man. They'd want to play well. The Broncos yeah, they, well, are they, absolutely they're, they're, playing. Yeah, they are. Like, they're playing I agree. hard. I agree. The Broncos are playing for the division. They can they're, st- they're, they're a game, game behind. out. Actually, half a game. If they if they win and Chiefs lose, they take the lead in the division. Wow. Because yeah, they beat them. Fuck, how good would that be? Imagine oh. the Broncos winning the division and the Chargers and the Chiefs not. Like the, oh. the Chiefs will still win a wild card. I, I think Broncos and Chiefs are both in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the, the turnaround. I think they'll split. I think they'll split those. That's my my. Take. Yeah, and then what they end up with eleven wins. Yeah, and you, just, you're gonna win that division. You're gonna win that division anyway. Hundred percent, you win that division there. So, um, can we talk about the Texans quickly? I, I've got a feeling the Magic's run out. I, I said it two weeks ago. They fell a half a yard short. Yeah, yeah. they won't. I think that, that Stroud's in concussion goal. protocol. He's not going to play this week. Yeah. Nico Collins is now – he gets 1,000 yards on the weekend and now he's out for the rest of the season. Mm-hmm. Um, they're running out of receivers. Like, that's Tank Dell and Nico Collins gone. Like, yep. I know Noah Brown was playing nice as a third, but I don't think he's going to take the hat no, off as, a, as a number one. Yeah, sure. Um, I think uh, – so They've had a few key injuries, a few key guys. Anderson's, Will Anderson's injured as well. Yeah. I don't know how serious that is. Right. I mean, that's going to happen with a young team. I, I, I'm not saying it as a – what a fucking disgrace. They're, like, they've had a good run, but I, I think that I think they're, their magic's up. Uh, but yeah, but I think that they've showed a lot this year. I agree. They should be and, very and, promising and, and, this year. And they're, they're building their franchise the right way. I think yeah. there's a lot of positive steps there, man. A lot I of cap space too, just quietly. Well, they should, and now they've got a quarterback. They've got they've got three years. They should be going ham in the offseason, trying up. to sign as as many people It'll as they can. It'll be them and the Bears just signing everyone next offseason. So you reckon, they're gonna, you reckon the Bears are going to roll with Fields next year? I think they should. Give it one more year. I don't see any reason why not. Because they're going to draft. Even what if you, you suck, lose? you're going to draft good again if, next if, year. If you sign big free agents this year, they're going to be on two-year deals. You'll have them for a few years yeah. minimum. Yeah. And then you just draft a quarterback next year with the infrastructure around him and hope he's good. Hope mm. hope you see Jay Stroud. Yeah, yeah. Good players around yeah. him. So, yeah. Um, I, I think they'll keep him, but yeah, I'm, I'm. I think I feel sorry for the Texans. The injuries have got control of them. Mm. They're missing their two starting middle linebackers. Yeah. Their their corners are hurt. They're yeah. just kind of falling apart at the wrong time. They've mm. had they've been a great watch and a great fight. But if Stroud's out, like they're in real trouble. Who's that? Is their backup still Callan Mond? Is it the guy with the long neck? What's his name? The Mond Miller. Brad, mm. No, what was his name? He was a starter a couple of years. Definitely ago. thought it was Brad Miller. Brad Brad Miller used to play for the Demons as yeah. the half forward. Um, also, uh, shout out Braxton Miller used to be a wide receiver for the Texans, who was a quarterback in college. So you might be caught between those two. I'm not sure. <laughs> it definitely starts with a name. I'm calling it starts with a name. Right, yeah, I thought that. it was Mon. But it, either, yeah. The, I, I think I think you're right. I think injuries are caught up, but yeah, they've shown some good signs and and really good building blocks for next year. Yeah, yeah, I think I think they'll be fine. I think I think they're going to do really well. They'll make some if they're smart. They'll make some good free agent signings, and that they'll be really pushing to win that division next that, year. They're exciting team, so I can see them getting a couple of free agents. Yeah, I think so. Well. I think people are going to want to go and play for D'Amico anyway. No state tax, just quietly Ooh. in Dallas as well. In Houston, I mean, in, in Texas, in Texas, 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 Texas. Yeah, I think people are going. That's a draw card too. Like good young quarterback team is, on there. Is up. there state tax in Texas? They're like there is. Mm, I don't think so. That's why. That's why I like Joe Rogan. Davis Miles. There. Now he went Davis to um, Mills. Mills, long neck. Um, did he go to Texas? Yeah, he lives in Austin, bro. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, because they, they, there's no state tax. Who's Joe Rogan? Never heard of the guy. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> also, hang on. Can we? We well, bring, we're bringing our money in ta- state tax. Oh my god, what's up? Talking about LA Dodgers. Yeah, we're yeah. doing something shout, dodgy. Shout out to Show her Tani. Show her Tani. Mm-hmm. It's not dodgy at all. It's within the rules, mate. Hang on. No, 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 no. It's let, within the let rules. Me, let me explain to JA. Ten years. Yep, seventy, 70 million, seven hundred million, million, yeah, seventy million a year. Yep. He's deferring mm-hmm. to the end of his contract 
$68 million. So he's deferring $680 million of the $700 million. So he's only getting paid $20 million over his 10 years. So he's getting paid $2 million a year. So that leaves cap space for the Dodgers to sign other players. What happens? No, no, no there's no cap. There's no cap. There's no cap in the in the. No, it gives, it gives them more money. Sorry. But that, this is the thing. Normally, if they defer money, it's got interest on it. Mm. That's how they defer their money. Doing interest free. He? He's doing it interest free. Yeah. Okay, Sixty-eight stop. million. Explain it to me like I'm a three-year-old. Okay. So, mummy and daddy give you ten dollars. So for, they're, not, for so they're, not paying, they're not paying him now. They're going to pay him at the end of his, <laughs> the end of his career. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's, it's what they did with that guy who Bobby Belen. Someone, yeah, who's Bobby Belen. They're still paying. Like, yeah, they're, 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 they're all the Mets. I think that was the Mets. It's criminal. The fucking the, the money rules. Why is that, the, why is that criminal? Uh, I think it's within the rules. I, I know I'm saying the rules set up in there in, oh, in Major okay. League Baseball is criminal. It's why no one fucking likes it because the same 10 teams are good every year. Yes. Like it was out of the Dodgers and the Yankees. Yeah, but, that's, a, but that's plenty nah, of leagues yeah, around the world that like that. Like, yeah, look soccer at, leagues. Look at the like Eng- English Premier League. Yeah, like no, I, I, don't, I don't agree with it there too. There's no parity in the competition. Yeah, no, there never is. Yankee, no. No. Yankees would never get me. No, he, he said they were throwing money at him. He said he would never play for the Yankees. But there was only, ever. there was probably only three teams that could. Toronto. And Anaheim weren't one of them. No, they don't have um, enough money. Uh, I think who who else offered him the same? I think it was um the Giants, San Francisco offered him the same contract. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot less money. Toronto offered him money. Everyone thought he was going to Toronto. Yeah, there was a flight leaving LA to Toronto. Yeah, so they yeah. thought he was on. There was there was a, uh, no way. A high it was just the guy, free agents ever go to Toronto. It was just the guy from uh, Shark Tank on the. Plane. What I don't understand is was he was he not playing? The season's on at the moment, isn't it? No, 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 it's finished, finished now. This is why I like, but this is, he's, I don't even know what he's not pitching on. for the next year and a half because he's getting Tommy John's he's again. Tommy John's, so he yeah. can only hit. But they're oh, going to pay. I forget he's a fucking gun hitter. So they're going to pay him sort of a double wage to do both. But in two years' time, he could be like, oh, I don't want to pitch anymore and just hit. He's and still, he's still getting paid. He'd still get that money double wage. It'd still be worth the money though. No, he's not. He, he, no one's worth seventy million as a hitter. Aaron Judge hit sixty-two in a year. He's getting paid thirty million. Yeah, okay. So they're paying him to be a pitcher and a they're paying him both. Yeah, but how long can he do both for? That that's a thing, but they're oh, paying him. How, they're how, paying long, him for how long's a piece of dumpling? You know what I mean? How much filling can you put in isn't, a dumpling? Isn't that the same? Isn't that the same? Um is it no, string? Is no, it a piece of string? Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah. All right, let's move on. Oh, let's get, <laughs> back on before we get cancelled. <laughs> this is one I know George is gonna have uh Ooh. a big, a big bit of opinion on this one. Oh I am Here so worse. Bills win, Mahomes oh, lose his yeah. I'm assuming you're going to have Mahomes' side on this. Um, no, I'm not. <laughs> so I do. Go- Taylor Smith's going to have to write a song about referees now, and this is not going to work. First of all, first of all, they had plenty of opportunities to win that game before that play, which we're going to get to. It's the worst right? argument in the world for it's- when refs fuck up. I hate that argument. It-, right? it doesn't excuse the refs fucking up. Which they didn't in this case, but I'll let you go, and then I'll say my point. Right, you know, they had plenty of plenty it of. It shifts me when refs fuck up, and then they go, "Well, you had plenty of opportunity." I'm like, "Yeah, but, but we, did. we would have had an extra one if you didn't fuck up." Yeah, they did. You know, what, you know what's worse than that? Oh, the defense could have stopped him in overtime. That's very true. Right. <laughs> okay. Josh Allen. And secondly, yes. secondly, he was lined up off sides. Like, agreed. He did it four times. And, and, and then, and then, and then. Uh, I, I sent you guys a video of a take of, of someone uh, yeah, I watched in the it. group yeah. chat, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And that take, and I'm going to reiterate that take. It's not my take, but I'm going to reiterate it. Like, he's saying that, oh, yeah, that no one's arguing. Like, you didn't hear him or Andy Reid or anybody saying that he wasn't offsides. Mm-hmm. What they were saying is, oh, that shouldn't, was, um, you shouldn't call yeah, it in that, that. You shouldn't call it in, in that moment. You shouldn't, you shouldn't make that call, which is total fucking bullshit. A, it's the rules. B, he's lined up offsides. And see, like that guy said in that video I sent you, if you're saying Big that from basketball sports, Big gap. Weapon, shout out, Dan shout gap. out, I would do anything to get that guy on our podcast. Oh, shout Dan. out, please. In I'll, 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 I'll bombard him. I actually I'll, don't I love it. I actually don't think I think he'd be the sort of guy that he'd be do like, it. Yeah, fuck, fuck it, it. Do it. Yeah. let's go, let's have a laugh. I love it. Yeah, I love it. Anyway, keep going. So, yeah. like, if you're gonna do that, if you're gonna say, oh, you shouldn't call it in that time, well, what about last year in the Super Bowl when they called that fucking PI and they thought, oh, yeah, it was a PI and Slay said it was a PI. And he, after the game, said, "Yeah, it was a PI held him or whatever." Like, mm. oh, you can't call it in that moment. It's a key moment in the game. You can't call the, you can't call the fucking foul. The, like, big, no, bro. The biggest problem with this whole thing and this whole fuck around is when the fuck will Kadarius Tony actually cop some blame for what the fuck that yeah, guy done? He lined up off sides. He got cut after fucking twenty games for the Giants after yeah, being after a first round pick gi- from the Giants. Yeah, God he's God. a fucking moron. Yeah. He's done nothing. Yeah. He got a three yard touchdown catch in the Super Bowl that. Honestly, 
oh, I could have done it. There yeah. was no one on him. Yeah. All we did was run out, uncovered, and catch a ball you, and run. You out. are pretty quick. So I could chance. beat Kadarius Tony with a four second head start, three Fif- and a half seconds. 15 seconds. 15 elite, second elite meters. pace. 15 elite. Elite. So, You know what I mean? Like he's done nothing. And then now, now it's something they're protecting him. Like, why are you protecting Kadarius Tony? If I was the fucking organization, I would have been like, hey, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Put, put him out, throw him down the river. I would have cut him. I would have cut him on the fucking spot and said, this is enough. You're unproductive. You're costing us a fortune. Yeah, we but, traded for you. But, See uh, you later. As I've said to you before in previous podcasts, this is not Tony's fault. Tony, Kadarius Tony is who he is. Yes. He got, That's why you cut him. So it's, cut him. Pat, it's Patty Mahomes' fault. No, no. See, I think Patty Mahomes has been consistent with his message. He said last week yeah, after the rest. That, he took that extra money. Oh yeah, that's a different conversation. Yeah, but that's that's the point though. These every no, we're talking about how every other we're thing. talking about his argument for the rest, right? Tommy, Tommy last B, week with Tommy the, B took less money and he was throwing fucking dots to um uh, Edelman and Gronk and fucking what's his name uh, the receiver I can't remember Randy Moss Randy Moss yeah throwing dots right. to Randy Moss because he took less money, bro. Yeah, no, I agree. I'm not saying the, the, the discussion we're having is that he's upset about the refing, right? And what he said about the refing, he's been consistent. Last week when Velda's scandaling got mauled mm-hmm. and it should have been a fucking hey. first down from the one yard line. Hey. He came out and said, no, nah, it's Tiggy touch. I-, I like it when they let us play. Then the next week they don't let him play. Right. And like there was an offside call yesterday that wasn't called, which was worse than Tony's. So the refs are inconsistent with it and then choose that moment to call it. I- I- he's consistent he- with what he's saying. He's saying that you know what? let us play. He said it last week when that, Atrocious PI call didn't get called, yeah. and then he was consistent again nah, on Monday sorry, when he went. Sorry, bro. Not, that's a sorry, bro. You, you can't I, dis- call it. I disagree. You're wrong. It's not let us play. It's let us play as long as the fucking calls are going my but way. But last week and it didn't go his way, and, yeah, he, and he didn't going, argue okay, either. I agree, but they've been going his way for the last five fucking years, dude. Yeah, well, I don't think it always goes oh, his way. Bullshit. There was the Super Bowl went his way. Bullshit. Yeah, the Super Bowl fucking went his way. Yeah, and I agree like, with you, but that's but it was also PI. Oh, it was PI. Yeah. So, but, but then, but according to according to his argument that he made in the press conference, it shouldn't have been called because you can't call that. Uh, in that I, I, no, no, I understand that. But what I'm saying is, this season, the fuck, last couple of weeks, he's been consistent fuck, with his message of let us play. Fuck Paddy Mahomes. And you also don't know if that PI is not called, they might still win. <laughs> they <laughs> but, no, but that's the thing. They still kick the field goal. You still have to drive 75 yards. Yeah, you they you might have still lost. He he. It, it, th- there it, is obviously a protocol from the league. They want him to be the face of the league. No, no. I don't believe that stuff. No, I disagree. Because why wouldn't you want Jalen Hurts to be the face of the league? The guy's humble. Because he's too black. He's loved. He's because liked. he's too black. Nah, they've, they've, there's been plenty of great nah, black quarterbacks. No, nah, I disagree because Patty Mahomes is just the right amount of black. Just a little he's, bit of sprinkling of black. He's caramel. He's yeah. caramel. Have yeah. you seen his dad? His dad's black. His dad's he's, black. He's Have dead. you seen his but brother? Patty Mahomes isn't. He what? Yeah, yeah. They, he uh, can't say that word. No. Nah. Yeah. He's you know what? Trying don't women hide don't complain. Don't fucking complain when the calls haven't gone your way the last two weeks when they've been going your way the last five years. Up your fucking ass. You know, he also, the Tony looked at the sideline judge and he gave him the thumbs up too, then flagged him. Fantastic. I know, it's so bad. I didn't know that, but that's it's amazing. So bad. Like I said, ah, I, I don't give Did Brock a fuck. send you that one as well? Because he sent it to me. Like it's yeah. literally a side on. Yeah. If anything, I'm anti-refs. They're fucking nightmares. They're, yeah, like, they're terrible. I work agree. out what the fuck you're doing. Mate. Either call it Tiggy Touch or don't call a tiki touch. The re- Just be fucking consistent. I agree. But the rest of the thing's always been bad, though. No, but the, the, nah, the, this year's been the, real bad. The issue with that rule, though, is well, it's like the AFL when there's a point of emphasis on the rule. Yeah, there is. Fucking, yeah, they, like holding the ball or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They call it. Yeah. That call, that same off, offside for the wide receiver got called once two years ago, twice yeah. last year. Yeah, they're clearly, it's they're clearly times. making an emphasis on it. I agree. An emphasis of it. I agree with you. It, if it was, his- well, it should be a simple fucking rule. If you line up offside, and you know what the next year's emphasis will be, the tackles lining up too deep. That'll, yeah, that, yeah, that'll yeah, be yeah, the yes. one next year because on that play, the Chiefs' right tackle was, was already a in, yard and a half too deep. Right. Yeah, exactly. So like, they yeah. could have called anything on. But that's the thing, though. If it was the first time he did it, sure, yeah, that's a bad penalty. There's footage of him doing it four fucking times. Yeah. It's yeah. Tony's it. fault. It is Tony's fucking fault. And Mahomes should be pissed off. I'm with not him. disagreeing. I'm yeah. not disagreeing. All I'm saying is it's a bit fucking rich for. Mahomes to be up there at the presser saying, oh, you know, you can't call that play. Or yeah, I, I think the that's ref. just related to last week. Like last week, he was like, he didn't get that. He was, he like, was, he was humble He could have easily it. come yeah. out last week and be like, you fucking kidding Suck me? That was the up, biggest mate. play I ever saw. Which, Suck he, it up. which he did last week. He sucked it up and then they get burned by it this week because it's a tiggy touch call. You can't, like, he, he's kind of been consistent all, the last few weeks. All their opponents have been getting burned off it for the last five years. Up yeah, there was, there was some earlier in the year as well, if I remember that. 
they got. Ah, they go fuck them. They've had the rub of the green for you, far too long. Fuck I still em. reckon they'll play in the Super Bowl. Too. George, I'll give you the best fucking... You, you put this in our group chat. Go on. When a person gets used to preferential treatment, Equal treatment seems like discrimination. Boom! Mic drop. Yeah, it's a great line. Yeah, it's, I, it's I, I, I respect it. Yeah, it's the truth, mate. Yeah, because even Andy Reid sucked up, and I've never heard Andy Reid exactly. say anything. It's a bit fucking rich. They've had the rub of the green for the last five years, and now they're sucking all of a sudden. Shut the fuck up. Because they're underperforming. That's yeah, why. that's right. Also, it, like th- this yeah. game, that that play from Travis Kelsey was fucking insane. That and if it had been able, cool. if it had been able to stay, like it was cool, unbelievable. But but it was it was a penalty, so. Yeah. Off fucking size, suck it up. Yeah, princess. and Kelsey hasn't said anything. Kelsey's like, "Hey, you're a receiver. You don't line up offside. It's pretty, pretty simple, man." It. <laughs> it's like, yeah, but he's a fucking grown man. He's not a baby. Like, yeah, like he, it's pretty simple. But um, also Sucking the Bills like winning poster. is better for the NFL this year. Of course it is because it makes them in the in the race. We, it's better. we need the Bills in the playoffs. Yes, you they do. are a top three team in the AFC, yes. four team in the AFC. Yes. We need them in the playoffs. Oh, Josh Allen, he should be playing in the playoffs. I agree. Josh Allen. Josh Allen goes on a fucking four-game win streak, like a five-game win streak down the stretch, beats Cowboys, Miami, whoever they're playing. Well, what's, that, what's the Bills run home, he, please, Brock? The Bills can, uh, he, he can, he can win fucking MVP. Oh, fuck, here we go. He's he's not far off like Prescott and like numbers-wise. Numbers-wise. Yeah. If, if the narrative flips and he gets him into the playoffs with the way he plays down the stretch, which, let's be honest, it's all on him. Well, they've got Von Miller back. He's stopped bashing women and he's back playing again. Von, you, um, Von Miller's 88 old, bro. No fucking chance he wins MVP. Ooh. They can make the, They can have the best run home of all time. He will not win MVP. Who do you reckon will? Whoever has the fucking Dak Prescott, most likely. If, if the Cowboys win the one seed, Dak Prescott will. I know I said it a couple yep. of weeks ago. If the Cowboys get the one seed and Prescott keeps playing the way he's playing, he will one hundred percent win the MVP. I think. I think if he it Dak, won't even be an yeah. argument. If he, the ball over, he if he doesn't turn the ball over the next four weeks, he's going to win. I'm telling you now. I, I didn't realize he's leading the league in touchdown passes. Yeah, man. I actually didn't realize that until until Monday night. Yeah. Uh, they got Cowboys. Chargers, uh, Pats, then Dolphins. Oh, those Mate, last, those I last three through. games. Genuinely, who do you reckon they lose to? They lose. Is it to, Dolphins at no, Dolphins? They lose to the ca- is Dolphins it? in Dolphins. No, I think it doesn't matter. I think they beat. It the doesn't Cowboys. matter. It's a division yeah. game. Is that home? Is that it's that Bills? It's that Bills. Yes, but you you will still beat them. It'll be a good game. It'll be yeah. one of those games where if we lose, I'll be disappointed. But I'm like secretly okay, happy on, that the Bills on. win. You know what I mean? I hang want on. them in. Let's say they lose against the Cowboys and win the next three. How many games does that give them? How many wins is that? Well, they're seven and six, so they'd give them eleven yeah. wins. Yeah, they're seven. Yeah. And they could, no, they could, no, no. They could so win the fucking they, division because they, they beat lose, Miami. They lose to the Cowboys and then win the next three. So they will have ten wins. They have ten. That'll wins. get them in. Oh, easily in the AFC. There's seven. There's five teams on seven and six, and one of those teams is the Texans, who I think are falling off. One's the Bengals, who yeah, like I'm. Ex- this, this young quarterback's fucking doing a decent job, but I don't know. I'm not backing him to get it home. And I think I actually think Denver will be the other the other wild card Colts. Fuck the Colts, man. I don't want the Colts in the playoffs. No, nah, neither do I. I want I want the Bills. I want, the Bills, in. I want Bills, Denver. As a Raven, I fucking uh, hate who's, the Colts. Who's another, who's another seed that could get in? Bills, Denver, and Texas who won't. Uh, it's going to be, yeah, Denver, Bills, Bengals. Colts. Uh, Steelers will drop off. I want Bills, Bills, Denver, um, Bengals. Bengals, yeah. I want Bengals in. You know who's going to fucking make it? Who? The fucking Cleveland Browns. Oh, the they're going to be the sorry. That's the other team. They're a game clear. Yeah, they're home. I cannot make the pass. Joey mm. Flacco, fucking. Do you know what's up. fucking hilarious? He's back on the practice slinging, slinging, all, slinging dick. all they had to do was instead of trading for three first round picks for Deshaun Watson and giving him a quarter of a million, million dollars, a quarter of a million dollars, yeah, a quarter of a billion dollars, yeah. guaranteed, is just sign Joe Flacco <laughs> off the couch. <laughs> off the couch. Can you imagine them sit like Stefanski Sof- sitting back right now, going, "What the fuck." We just hinged our future, yeah. and you see him up in the press box, fucking drinking the coach in the the box, whatever he's in, drinking champagne with his glass on, like a yeah. fuckwit. Yeah. My yeah. old Joe Burrow is down on the sideline in a cast, yeah. helping the quarterback. Like yeah. I'm telling you, Deshaun Watson, if the fucking dick waving thing wasn't a sign, he's a piece of shit, man. Yeah, right. He has he has done daylight robbery on the Browns, yeah. and you know, well played by the Texans. And the thing is, and well played by Deshaun Watson. Well, that's what I was gonna say. Good on him. Like, good on him. He butted him and fucking took him for a ride. Yeah. And yeah. Look, just like he was doing with his dick and those massages. Hey, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do we got next? Uh, oh, fucking lost my page. Oh, got Herbert. Yeah, let's go on. Let's talk about the charges. Man, that, I'm so disappointed. That's Herbert season done. Yeah, he There's won't, he won't no be. There's no way they bring him nah, What for? Why would you? I, I get, this is, I said, my, my, so it's a broken my finger, line right? was, yeah, Herbert's injury is a nail in the coffin of what a disappointing season the Chargers had. Extremely disappointing. He's broken two fingers this yeah. year. Yeah, oh, the fucking odds oh, that he breaks two fingers. 
in the space of about five weeks. Oh, yeah. If you don't protect your quarterback, it's what tends to happen. Yeah, yeah. That's what to... And he's a dude doesn't even run with it. <laughs> like he just gets just getting drilled. Just, just getting absolute drilled. dumps the fire but of a fucking organization. I they really are. They really are. They should have never left fucking San Diego. No, but they have been even at San Diego. They yeah, were I agree. Dumps the fire. Wait, they, had, they had fucking Ladanian Tomlinson and Antonio Gates and Philip Rivers and couldn't win a fucking playoff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, they yeah. kept hiring Schottenheimer, who the Schottenheimers yeah. just continually ruin football. Yeah. Like the only, I can't believe they're not ruining the Cowboys this year with Schottenheimer. But um, I, it's the fucking I ownership. It's I don't see a way out for the Chargers. Here. It's the ownership, bro. I'm like, telling you. What's What's what, what's their way out next season? They got to hire. They got to they got to fire. Um. Uh. Uh. What's his name? Staley. Uh, Staley. 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 What, and what do they promote? Callan Moore. Oh, I think so. I don't know. I don't know. I, think that, so. I don't think the offense has been that good this year under Callan Moore. It hasn't. Like if anything, they haven't, they haven't if you look at what up. the Cowboys have become without Callan Moore, yeah, which, with, I'm, which I'm massively with surprised about. The by the way, same players add Brandon Cooks and remove Zeke Elliott. The, now, ghost, of, the ghost of Brandon Cooks. Yeah, well, <laughs> and, well Brandon yeah. Cooks has been a great. Now, he's been really well. He's been. Like, he's you been know what I mean? Like, and then you like Jalen Ferguson replaces um, Schultz, and he's doing yeah. a similar job. Yeah. Like yeah. they've been pretty much the same team, and the Cowboys' offense is good. And he took over a loaded Chargers team. Like I know Mike Williams got hurt. The Quinton Johnson pick is. Is bad. It's a bad pick. It's a bad pick. When you like look he, at how well Zay Flowers is playing, there's, oh, there's mate, that kid. That kid's a fucking so star. Man. Every mm-hmm. single player, dra- every wide receiver drafted after him has had more yards, more touchdowns, yeah, 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 and more yeah, catches, yeah. and it's not fucking close. It, like nah, not he close. can't even catch him. Like yeah. n- Puka Nakua is at a thousand yard season. Yeah. I like know. Tank Dell would have if he's not hurt. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, fucked. You know the worst thing about the whole situation, Justin Herbert. I. As much as I hate him, why do you hate him? I hate her, I, don't, I just don't like him. He's why just so. He's just why so do you handsome. hate old Rosemary? He's so handsome, bro. You get it? That's good. The Herbert. <laughs> yeah. Bit of a Herbert. Herb. Bit of Rosemary. Herbert. <laughs> Herbert. Let's please move. A on. bit of basil. <laughs> bit of oregano. Yeah. Let's talk about Taylor Swift. Fuck this guy. <laughs> Couldn't <laughs> even give me like a. Oh, that's yeah. That's pretty good. No. Like, why do you goodness. hate Justin Herbert? Yeah, why, do you, why do you hate Herb Dog? I, oh, I think it's more of a fact of everyone talks about how good Tall, he is. Tall, white, and handsome. Yes. It's like why you hate Josh Allen. He's everything you want to be. In it's more. everything I'm not. Wow. Hey, we just, hey, we just no, no, no. into no, no, Brock's no. mind. You just said three things then. I'm two of them. What? Tall and white. <laughs> you are white. Hey. Um, like, I, don't get me wrong. I'd, I'd throw you a dick at a nightclub, but I'd, <laughs> I, I don't know if you're hot. <laughs> like, it'd be a pretty couple of average guys going at it. You know what I mean? Handsome. Handsome's handsome. fine. You're distinguished. No, I, everyone rides his dick, and he hasn't fucking done anything. No, he's been pretty good, man. No, but no, he's, he hasn't fucking done anything. Look at, it, look at his career. Okay. So no, 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 okay. He can't. Okay, oh, let, let, let me flip let, it. Let me if, you, if you play for the Cowboys, would he be playing as good as Prescott? He'd be he'd, better. He'd, he'd be playing better. There you go. No, but this is the thing. If he was on the Patriots, Everyone uses the same fucking argument. Hasn't got it done on Lamar Jackson. Hasn't got it done in playoffs. Has fucking Herbert. He can't even make the fucking playoffs because his so he, coach keeps fucking him in the like yeah, They no, fucked but, him last year before he could even get there. No, I don't even think it's, I think no, it's just a whole organization, bro. No, it's a good organization, thing. yeah. He's throwing fucking balls that get him dropped. Absolutely. He's still throwing fucking 350 yards a game. Oh, he's a, he's a gun. So what, you can't fucking charge down the field and score if you're throwing 350 a game? No. So what the fuck I, are you doing? I think the team's fucked. Like the Eckler's running completely out of steam. You only yeah. have to get 70 yards for them to kick a fucking field goal. Keenan. Keenan Allen had a great first 10 games and he has dropped off a yeah, fucking cliff. cliff as well. so he's everyone else around him is not getting good enough. He's not good enough. I agree, yeah. Well, a good quarterback elevates his team and gets the job yeah, done. I agree, but this isn't a Herbert versus Lamar Jackson conversation. No, okay, he's, okay Matt Stafford better. I, I think, but that's what you're trying to make it, though. I don't understand. No, but Matt no, Stafford he, this season's been better, yeah. Because he elevates other people around him. Matt Stafford's also got Cooper Cup, who's arguably one, like he's a, an elite he, he receiver had, in the NFL. In, Cooper Cup is like six games this year. Yeah, but he still got him, and he, he, they didn't he, win when they didn't have him either. No, but he and also, other, Puka, Nakua Puka Nakua has come out of fucking. So he's nowhere. elevated Puka Nakua. Well, how do you know Puka Nakua hasn't elevated him? That's a good because like if he what if Josh he, Dobbs looked pretty fucking good with Justin Jefferson in there for a quarter on the weekend. The amount, of fifth round, the amount of fifth round picks the Rams have had that have popped up this year. Yeah, I agree, but that's so not he stupid. elevates talent. Yes, he does. He yeah. elevates talent. Yeah, look, so, I said, well, Justin look, Herbert's a good also, quarterback. Stafford's yes. in his. 14th year and he's a fucking all pro yeah, Super Bowl winning quarterback. Like thing. he's a super. He Stafford's ha- very underrated. He he's extremely elevated. underrated. Yeah, I don't know. Like, nah. I, I, I reckon I, if I, you put Herbert in Detroit instead of Goff, it's, they're they're fucking going off in Detroit mm. with a good coach, a good foundation, a good team around no, him. Yeah. I'm not saying he's not a good quarterback. 
I he just, just hasn't done anything. No, no, I agree with that. He hasn't done hype. anything yet, and I'm not, I'm not sucking what, his dick. He's in his third, third or fourth year. But like, where, do, you, do you do you think he's overrated? Yeah. It's like he's six year. No, yeah, I, brother, get the stamp. Overrated. Where would you rate him though? No, no, no. It's 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 it's. I think it's his fourth. Surely year top year. ten. Yeah, but he's lower half of ten. Yeah, I think I had him it, at seven. He would be he would be squ- he'll be scraping into the top ten. Like I had him at seven, what eight, six even, or seven weeks ago. He'd probably be at eight or nine now. Like even, even if you have him come. at ten, that's still fucking good. Yeah, <laughs> like I, I I think there might be some people that rate him highly. I think this is just you're upset because Lamar doesn't get these flowers. Well, no, I don't. He gets say flowers. Just hey, flowers. No, but it's not that though. It's he doesn't. He hasn't done anything. So it's he's. But no one's saying that he's a Super Bowl winning fucking team changing quarterback. He's just saying that he's really fucking were. good and he needs help. But nah, after nah. his first year, he was the nah. savior that they hadn't. The, the, so what do you reckon the Chargers would be without him? Oh, they'll be absolutely dog be, shit. Probably, probably, and we're going to find out for the next four weeks. But they're yeah. still absolutely dog shit now, though. Yeah, I don't think that's all him. Like, it doesn't help that the D, literally, he's he's taken the lead in the last two minutes four times this year, and the, yeah, D, yeah, and the yeah, defense yeah, have given yeah. up a score. Like, yeah. he literally can't do anything about that. There's a good discussion for the off season though. Like we talk about, those sorts. I, I don't. I think Herbert's rated pretty fairly. I think if you put him in a good system with good players around him, which he had earlier in the year, um, that's fine. I think also like his coach cost him a playoff, a playoff run last year. I think the teams quit on Staley. I think they've absolutely what's quit the, on. So, okay, so l- l- let's take this combo two steps forward. What's the what's the solution in there? Well, they don't have any money because they're paying Khalil Mack so much money and yeah. Bosa. So and Khalil Mack's had a good year, but it's. He's he's, he's in his twilight. Yeah. He's, he's having a twilight year. Yeah, Keenan yeah. Allen had a twilight year. Yeah. Eckler's he's done. Mm. He's cooked. He's a twenty-eight year old running back, yeah. like yeah. which pretty standard. Yeah. Sorry, like it sucks, and I fucking wish it wasn't true. He's going to go and probably play three or four more years, jumping around, being a backup sort of deal. But he's yeah. done. Their offensive line's not good, other than Lindsley and their left tackle, whose name I always forget. Mm. Um, like they're both solid. If Keenan Allen keeps dropping off, they've got no talent receivers. Mike Williams isn't a number one. He's a solid two that can deep threat. Quinton Johnson's a waste of a pick. Waste of a pick, um, yep. Joey Bosa's one of the, and we've discussed before, one of the most overrated players in football, and yep. he's so overpaid. They've got no linebackers, no interior defensive linemen, and then to put a little cherry on the top, no one fucking wants to play for him. Yeah, yeah, that's the other thing too. If you're joining an LA team, you are not joining yeah, the Chargers. Yeah, yeah. Like if you look at I don't all, know how they if you look it. at all the LA teams, like you know, if you count like you know all the pro sports in LA, they're probably like the seventh team, they, like seventh best team in LA. Is there an ice hockey team in LA? They'd only be rated above yeah. them. Yeah, they're like, they're like King. nah, the Kings are the no, the Kings, Kings are lit. Fuck, Kings are I, I know, I know who they are. So they're lit. Like yeah. the Chargers would be the most unattractive. Yeah. For, they have to fucking rent the Rams' fucking stadium. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I don't know. I, they should I have think, just stayed in fucking San Diego. Well, they couldn't because the fucking owners are greedy fuck and yeah. wanted. And wanted to go get a cheaper deal and yeah. get more money. Like I don't know. I think they're in trouble. I think it starts with firing Staley and Look, just Staley's got to go right. Hope to fucking God you can get a couple of free agents. Hope to God Quinton Johnson develops. Hope to God Joey Bosa can find his form of three so years ago and play problem. well again. This is the, this is why they're fucked because they're wasting they're wasting rookie contract Herbert's years. Well, it's done now. He's yeah. now on fifty million. Yeah, well, that's what I'm yeah, saying. They've, they've wasted their years. They've wasted they're done. They're yeah. done. They've wasted their years. So now they've got to compete with paying you like 50 million a year. Yeah, now, correct. it does ebb and flow. So in two years' time, as the cap keeps going up, as it keeps sure. doing it, like it's like Prescott's 40 million five, three years ago was like, what the fuck yeah, are you guys, are you guys doing, doing, you idiots? Yeah, now, now Daniel now Jones penis. is on 40 yeah, million. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it, it'll ebb and flow and it will adjust and come back. But I think it's going to get worse at the charges before it gets better. Yeah. I think next year could be worse. Hmm. Because they've got loaded, bloated contracts that they've got to sort yeah, out now. Yeah. Like Corey Lindsley, their center, he's really good, but he's like 34 years old and he's on he's like the second highest paid, third highest paid center in the, in the league. Yeah. And he's been injured all year. Mm. Doesn't help. No. Like, no. yeah, it'd be interesting. I, I I don't know what the fix is. Probably we can look in. We should do an offseason, like how to fix teams. So we'll take teams that don't make idea. the playoffs yeah, and be it. like, a, how do you fix them? And like be the GM, we can each be a GM for a team. Make another that, Brock. That's a great idea. Make another that. Um, I just have forty two million dollars of dead cap next year. That's what I mean, they're, or, they're, or they're, their cap space, they have forty two million dollars in the red. Wow. Yeah, they're fucked. That's yeah. what I mean, they've got no way out. Um, their owner, you know, the issue with their owner is though, it's another fucking owner who's only the owner because his dad was spot fucking, on, was rich. fucking spot on, Brocky. That's Bang. the reason. Spot on. The only way he has his money, and. Cool, you can save all that money and you can go get a fucking Khalil Mack every 10, 11 years because that's what they did. And now they can't afford to fucking pay yep, anybody else. Yep. And that's a problem when the owner's trying to play GM as well. Like, just 
get the fuck out of stay the fuck out of it. Hire the right people. And that's the other thing too. Then the Spanos family is notorious tight asses. They don't want to pay proper money for proper coaches. Tom they always want they also might not, deals. they might not fire Staley because they don't like paying coaches out. That's what I'm saying. Now they're gonna have to pay him out like 20 million dollars, and then they're gonna have to pay another 40 or 50 million dollars. How long has he been there? Would this be his third year? I don't I think so. so It'd have to be his third or fourth year. So, so he, he probably don't, he's probably only got a year or two years left. Max. Like, and that's the thing. Like, I just don't see them saying to themselves, "Okay, we're going to spend twenty million dollars, pay this to get out, and then we're going to have to pay another coach fifty million dollars to come and coach our team." Like, that's seventy or eighty million dollars is going to have to splash out. They're not going to do it, bro. No, no, I tend so to. I agree. You're right. They're fucked. They're, they're going to get worse. I, I think it's going to get worse. Yeah, unless Herbert really can dis- bail them out. Really disappointing because I really wanted to see them do. Do you well. know the way out? If they want, if they want to get out and they want to reset the whole thing, they're going to trade trade Herbert. You trade Herbert. Yeah. You pull a Russell Wilson and you go, all right, who we'll wants him? him? Green and Bay, get, you want him? Give 20, me Jordan Love. 2021 was his first year. So was that this is his third year then? Yeah, so he's got he's, a bit of, I imagine it's a five-year five deal. Year Most of the probably. contracts are now for coaches. But like, that's a, that's your quick that, that's your fix. The quick fix. You yeah. trade fucking. Yeah, but then you gotta you can't you can't piss away those picks though. No, which they will. Which they will. But you, you go to the offseason, you go, all right, buy a sale. Who wants Joe Bosa? Who wants Khalil Mack? Hey, Cowboys, you want Joey Bosa for, for a year to see if he can help you get over the line? Yeah, yeah, Hey, yeah. fucking Bears, you want Joey Bosa? You want fucking Herbert? You want, what do you want to do? Give us Justin mm. Fields. We'll roll with him for a year and see what happens. Yeah. Like that. That's what you do. You find a team in a window, New York Jets, who, who, if Rodgers who, who, retires who, who, and go, hey, Herbert. you want to fucking take on Herbert? Oh, Herbert to the Jets. Poor. Mate, if the, well, what if the Patriots sign a really good fucking young OC and they go, hey, you want Justin Herbert for that second, for overall, the second, pick? For the second overall pick? You'd take it, wouldn't you? I would. Oh, and well. then you reset your rookie deal again and hope you hit on a quarterback again. Yeah, yeah, Simple yeah. as that. that, well, that you, that's, this is a good good uh, rookie, uh, uh, quarterback class coming up too. So. Well, is Caleb Williams declared? No, yet. Apparently, Marvin Jones Jr. Is it Marvin Jones? Marvin, ha- Marvin Harrison, Harrison Jr. has been offered $20 million NIL money wow. to stay senior year. Wow. So it's basically his entire rookie contract if he went number one overall yeah. to stay. Yeah. At Ohio. This is the pro- this is the problem I now. Said, this yeah. is the problem now with all this money going into college. This is what I think the NCAA were afraid of. That you know, we, that's you why they want to pay players. So it might make college football better. You might have guys being like, "Well, you know what? I will wait another year and not and not go to college." Yeah, but I don't care about college if, football. If, if, <laughs> no, no, I don't either. But it'll it'll create like you know, some players might be like, "Well, you know, I can make a bit of money here. I can stay, finish my senior year, get my degree." It's probably. That, it, that's it's their biggest better issue. for the kids because if they stay another year, they get their degree and they finish it. Yeah, it's probably. I know it's they're there to play football. I yeah, get but not that. every player is going to get that kind of money though. No, but what if you? What if you're a fifth round pick? But like, what, what, what if you're a fifth round pick quarterback, but you're the fucking stud of your, you know, twentieth ranked college team? Exactly. Yeah, you're going to get paid. More and there's money a, and there's a guy that's yeah. like, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll give you nine million if you stay this year. Yeah, yeah. If yeah, you yeah. Stay your senior year. Give us a chance to be ranked again. Win a bowl game. Yep. I'll be like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll get drafted in the fifth round next year. Yeah. Or maybe I have a fucking huge year yeah. and I and I pop yeah. up to a second round second pick. Round pick you, yeah. you, you know, the, the issue with the rich will stay rich, though. Yeah. That's yeah. the biggest issue because yeah. there's, there's no flaw to it. And if you actually look at the breakdown of college teams, oh, yeah, college uh, need the football team to be good and make money to fund every Everything other else. fucking sport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's like Bama, they, they make fucking like 20 million a year. Mm. And it funds every other fucking it sport. It'd be more than twenty. No one's yeah. no one's going to fucking watch Bama volleyball. They're all no, going to that's what I mean. And, and they use it to fund the whole program. Yeah, that, which is fine. That's good. Yeah, but I think it's interesting. I haven't seen any. Call. I know Drake May's declared. Yep. So if no, if like the other quarterbacks don't, I know the Colorado Sanders kids is, is going back. He's going. Back Shadur's back. going back. Yeah, Shadur's yeah. going back. Yeah, but yeah. he. I don't think he's. I don't think he's worth a first round pick. Mate, people are talking about the top ten if he's declared, which I don't. I don't know what that's a reach. That top ten is a, first round is a reach on Shadur. So. I agree too. It'll be a real, real Lamar situation, just a big reach. <laughs> you know what? What's hey, next? Daddy, don't, don't Daddy started. didn't mean it. Daddy didn't mean don't it. I was just having a gag. What's next? Uh, last topic. I didn't. I didn't even hear what you're saying. Yeah, Dallas. They're going to choke another fucking playoff game. <laughs> Yeah, but so old, old so Tony Romo. Ravens. Tony Romo is going to fucking fumble Mate, another if one. If the lights didn't go out against the 49ers, so ah. those could stab some fuckers, you wouldn't have won. Uh, no, we would have. Fuck Beyonce. Romo's cost me a Super Bowl. Hey, let's not go attacking the Queen. Fuck Beyonce. I know. Uh, I didn't say shit have about Taylor. Have you not heard the lyrical genius of who rules the world, girls? <laughs> who rules the world, girls? Who rules? I think it's that over and over. I All think I know is be everyone's else. on mute. Wow. Fights in Seattle 49ers game. Yes. Uh, fuck around. I think I make up some fucking idiot. One, four. Fuck around. Find out. Do you know what though? If 
if Fred Warner did that, I would have respected it. The fact that the long, the long snap is talking talking shit. fucking shit yeah, to DK know, Mecca. Right, right, yeah. If I'm DK Mecca, I'm literally like, who are you? Cool, bro. <laughs> yeah, who are you? Sorry. Yeah. You know what the issue with DK cool story, man. He's a DK. He will respond to it. He will, because he can't help himself. He can't help He's himself. a fucking diva. If I, if I was... Fred Warner I, did nothing to him. Do you know they had, they had a bet to see how quickly they could upset him? Yeah. That's all, what I'm all saying. The the, was the, opposite, he was going to get a gift. There was a, whoever, yeah, whoever, there was a gift. whoever could upset him, and if you got him ejected, it was fine. My scouting, Is that my scouting report would be... That's very bounty. No, it's not. My scouting or whole scouting report will be... I call it the Lockie Haynes rule. Upset, upset Dick and Metcalf. And, and, yeah. and they've got no offense. 100%. Yeah. yeah. Upset him. Just... Say something about something stupid about his hair or his chain, or just tell him he's just tell him he's fat or something like that. You'll probably think you'll probably get offended hey, by it. Have you seen his diet? Yeah, oh, he's like, he like, yeah, but the guy's it's a unreal. Gen- he's a genetic freak, bro. He can eat what he wants. It doesn't matter. He is a genetic freak. He I could does. I could read the list of what he eats and put on four kilos. Like you know what I mean? Like he's just the guy's a freak, bro. He eats it. one meal a day. That's it. It's like the Rock. He eats one meal no, a day. The Rock it's- eats like eight meals a day. Too. I say the opposite. Yeah. yeah, he eats one meal a day. He has like six bags of like Jolly Rancher fucking yeah, candy. Yeah, yeah, the guy's... And like a big large coffee. That's all he eats for yeah, the day. The guy's like an overgrown fucking the th- child. The child. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's an overgrown child. You he, know what? It's like when you leave, your, like one too. <laughs> you leave your child alone for the weekend. You give them $20 for pizza. I like. And they go to Woolworths. Yeah, and just buy, buy all, the all the lollies. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, that's that's exactly the what like. and, then, and then eats the meatloaf in the fridge when they get a little bit. I hungry. like this. I like this from the 49ers because I think it just shows that. Because, like, the, in order to sort of win in the post, you need to have that little bit of cunt about you as well. Yeah, and I, I, think, I think it showed that, like, you know, we're not just, like, you know, the buttoned up buttoned up pretty boys. Oh, it was we're, Fred we're... Warner again, who last week said to Brandon Ga- Graham, have a good five plays. Yeah, and good... then this week he gets up, he gets mecca, and he's acting like, I didn't say anything. He's like, you fucking said yeah. something, man. We we can't see your mouth, but we know you're saying you know something. What, you know what the best part about Fred Warner talking shit as well is? He's so good. He's so good. Yeah. <laughs> like, he can back it he's up. He's one of those guys that talk that. shit to you and you're like, Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. You will kick my yes, ass. I will. I agree with you. Yes, yes I will. Sir. Can I have another? I will enjoy my five plays. Thank, <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Squire. Thank you, Mr. All Pro Line. <laughs> yeah, but like adding Chase Young for the Niners has been. Yeah, it's good. Which it's is, good. I reckon, it's a fucking dodge. That's good. Uh, it's a good. Uh, that's a good sign for the Niners. And I've been high on the Niners all year. Let's be yeah, clear. Yeah. Since the preseason, I've been high on the Niners. I think we all had them as number one in the NFC. I'm yeah, I, sure. I, I had them. I had them win the Super Bowl. I had them go to the Super Bowl as well. Yeah. Uh, I think I did. I can't remember. So. That. Um, I think that just having that little bit of cunt about you, I like it. It's good. Yeah, I good. agree. You need that cunty edge about you. Yeah, but to win it, to win. Do, do you know who doesn't have that cunty edge? Metcalf. No, because he only likes it when he gets to run one on one deep and get a ball lobbed no, up. He's where he, he can be. He, he has a sucky edge. That's all he, he has. Never oh, runs big time, big time. Even like edge. there was a couple of plays this week and against the Cowboys when he has to run a slant. If there's any fucking noise around him, yeah. Oh, oh no! Like yeah. he did take a slam for a touchdown against the Cowboys because the safety blew the coverage. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. But if he'd heard the safety behind him, which he did later so in the game, that he he doesn't, doesn't want to get hit. Or I don't think he doesn't want to get hit. I just think there he, are he guys can, he can that, take a hit. Yeah, he yeah. just doesn't. He can no, no. He can deliver a hit. Nah, th- have you seen him get fucking hit and just stand there and not? Move? Yeah, like, okay. Yeah, he's a unfair. fucking he's a fucking robot. He looks like he's, he's a good so reference big. for you. He looks like a real steel, the fucking movie robot. That's how what he fucking looks like. He kind of does. He's just <laughs> built. He's huge. I don't know. I just don't think he's. He just doesn't have the fucking dog in him. Built like Tarzan. Yeah, play, that's, that's probably like what I mean. Very much like, built like Tarzan. I feel like, like I feel like game on the line. It's like uh, if, if he throws it up to me one on one, I'll take a chance. But like, you know what, DK, you're not going to get one on one with game on the line because they no, know they know they know they're going to throw it to you. Yeah. Can you imagine him getting the Megatron treatment of two guys, two guys on him? Like, <laughs> on, two guys on him on a fucking punt return as yeah, well. Yeah. Like, he, he would sook up. Yeah, of course he would. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I don't mind makeup. I think he's a good player, but I, I, I think, think he's a sook. I think he's a sook. Yeah. He's a bit of a diva. He's kind of one of those. There's not many, the top receivers, there's not a lot of divas anymore. No, nah, it used to like. be full of, the league used to be full of them. I think it's, gone, it, it's and, gone away a bit. Like, you know, AJ Brown's, I wouldn't say he's a, Diva, he's like he needs to shut his mouth, but he's not a diva. He doesn't suck. He likes physicality. No, no, no. He plays he blocks tough, like man. a he champion. Yeah, yeah. No. He, you, like, know what, you know what the issue is? The divas are the fucking mid-range fucking wide receivers. Yeah, that aren't good enough to be top receivers. AK fucking Chase Claypool. Claypool. I was thinking the same thing. Juwan, Juwan Jennings for the Niners. Yeah. I remember he was Tony talking, talking shit about Trayvon Diggs in the preseason. Trayvon Diggs was like, "Who are you? Who? Are, Zach, yeah, who? He's like, who? I play for the Niners. He's like." You're not Debo. You're not you. You're not Kittle. It's like shut the fuck up. Yeah, nobody. Uh, well, who's the fucking Golden Tate? Was the last mid-range fucking receiver 
that Doug, can be that deep. Doug Baldwin. <laughs> this is what, this is what I don't understand. It's just like you know, as as a final sort of bow on this. Yeah. Right? Like if if you're a good player, like why? Do you need to talk? Let your play do the talking. Because well, I talk all the time because I'm not a good like, player. <laughs> if I was a good player, and, and if I was a good player, and we were like you know, play, and I was playing well, and you know, someone from the other team started drawing at me, I'd just be. I wouldn't say I just point to the scoreboard. I point there. I'd, I'd be Nick Bosa. I like, I just want to get sacks, man. Like, I just want to get sacks. That's yeah. what no Nick Bosa ever says. Like, I'm just trying to get sacked, man. Yeah. Like, leave me alone. Like, just, go on yeah, me. yeah. I'm not fighting you. I'll just yeah. come back and I will kick your fucking ass. Yeah. Next play. Next play. Simple just as that. Next play. Yeah. That's it. I, don't I agree. It. Have we got a Billy or we do have a Billy? I just, I just, I just saw this little quote here. What do you got? Before we came out yesterday, big dog Jordan Malala. The sky is not falling. It is ugly right now. Yes, but the sky is not falling. Even Stevie Wonder can see it. This is all part of the process. It's truly part of the process. Keep the main thing the main thing. Shout out to my boy Jordan. They lost two games. Of course, the sky's not falling. Man, the sky's They're not fucking falling. ten and three, man. But, 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 it's Philly. It's That's what I mean. That's like, what I'm going to say. That they, the, the, the fans in Philly are so fickle, bro. You mate, don't it's outrageous. They like, turned on Ben well, did Simmons. I send you guys, did, I send to, did I send something to you guys about how they're all calling Jalen Hurts out now? And yes, yeah. you did, yeah. They want to fire Nick Sirianni. I'm like, mate, it must I, be I the agree with I agree no, with that no, last one. To, I, want, I, forgot, I forgot to say okay. this before. I forgot to say this before when mm. we were talking about the Eagles, and it just came to my mind now. Talk to me, big guy. I think this season... Do you want to lay on the couch? No, no, no. You don't have psychology? You've got to cast the couch comfortable. Casting. <laughs> How do you know what's behind that wall? <laughs> that fake wall. <laughs> Two-way mirror. Um, Can I say the night, Glenn? I think it shows that, yeah. you know, because our personnel is pretty, pretty similar to what it was last year. Yeah. I think it shows that Ooh. offensive coordinators and defensive coordinators Definitely make a matter. big difference. Look at what – now, we lost Shane, um, Shane Steichen. Look what he's doing in – Gardner Minshew. With fucking Gardner Minshew. Yep. And then right. where did DC go? Uh, fuck, I forgot. Cardinals. Yeah. And, and they're play, and they're in playing, fairness, they play fucking hard and they are incredibly tough. untalented. Yeah. Like in, outrageously play, untalented. But, but you know what they're going to do? They're going to line up and hit you in the fucking mouth. Well, they and also they beat the Steelers last week, which is fucking And they beat terrific. you guys. They did beat us week three. Be, you guys will be ruining that loss now. You'll be ruining that loss now. If that, who, else, you win that we, game, who have we lost to? Eagles, Niners, and them. Yeah. You'll be ruining that loss. Yeah. Can we be... We'd be a game clear of the one seed. That, right that'd be in the, that, that's probably going to cost you. Also, the one like, and I've said this a lot in the past. Sometimes you those losses are important. Yeah, because you've since then you've been rolling. Because I think you well, since the 49ers, they they've been rolling, but they like they beat them. Then they they had that scrappy win in overtime over the Chargers the yep. next week. Yep. And then the Niners belted them. Yeah. And then since then they've played really well, including the Eagles' loss in Philadelphia. They played no, really no, that well. Was, that, that was game. that was a good game. That was yeah. a good game. Like they've been outstanding. So. I feel like sometimes, like that Cardinals loss, then a quick one over the card, a quick one over the Chargers. You feel like, all right, we're good, we're, we're back on track. And then the 49ers fucking just, just completely slap, slap you, slap you yeah. and you're like, all right, the next last three weeks, yeah, we scrape one by over the Chargers, who turns out aren't very fucking good. We need to get back on track. And I think those mm. those losses can help. You. Yeah, but you know, but you know what the Cowboys have been doing, which is good for mm. them, and it so, sort of I think shows their Super Bowl credentials, perhaps because the 49ers have been doing it too. Like the teams that they're supposed to be smashing, they just they're them. belting the fuck out of them. And if you look back at the Eagles season, we probably should have seen this coming a bit earlier yeah, because, because we're just like scraping by they against struggled teams. against we be Washington, yeah, they struggled against yeah. a few teams. I, I said this in our group. I, I, I agree yeah. with you. I yeah. agreed with you. Yeah, they haven't been. No, he definitely. I didn't agree with you. Oh, okay. I was blind. He, it was the Colin Cowherd sort of. Yeah, they hasn't. You haven't beaten teams. You haven't blown out. Yeah, but in, in fairness, we didn't know the Niners and the Cowboys were going to fucking pump them two weeks in a row. Then. No, but no. But so now it's become a bit more of a but, problem because, like, well, hold on. So the Niners, Niners, not, the Niners are because pumping of the injuries. I knew because of our injuries we were yeah. going to get pumped. The Niners knew yeah. we were blowing out those shit teams. Also, oh, Darius wow. Slay's profile picture on Instagram is now that picture of the fucking trash cans. <laughs> Oh, that's, wow. fantastic. that's fantastic. That's I him. love how he steers into it. Yeah. Right. That's the thing. Yeah, Philly turning on him. All right, Billy. Give Let's us get into Bill. Yes, please. I, I haven't heard if this. If I have to run 100 meters again, I'm going <laughs> to fucking die. I, I, I haven't been your other hammy. <laughs> I, I haven't heard these, so. Oh, shit. There's, there's two voice notes here, so. Oh, here we go. There with I respect me. it. Shout out, Bill Bay. Make sure my volume's up. Boys, I'm glad last week uh, got a fair bit of traction. I'm telling you now, if you don't take the chance on the 100 mil, you got rocks in your head. Um, I'd never take a chance. I'm a, I'd win it. Just saying, we all were going to do it. We, we knew we were going to win it. I, I couldn't do it. We'd, all, we'd all take the 25 grand and then we'd nah. put it into the studio and we'd be fucking rich. Um, amen. I'm taking 100 million off Bill Moan's studio with Blackjack and 
hookers. If you did, can I forget the blackjack? Can I come over? <laughs> can can I'm I come? It. I'm, <laughs> I'm running in 15 flat, easy. Taking my 100 mil and the boys. We're going to Vegas. <laughs> picking up a 15 leg parlay, whacking 50 mil on it, popping a few Zinachinos. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Up a decky where mum and kids are raising cookies, buddy. Once that 15 leg parlay pays off, oh, one way flight to the Bahamas with the boys, each get a yacht, and then we'll spend the rest of our days watching NFL Red Zone, sipping pina coladas, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Zinachino. <laughs> Can I just say one thing? Oh my god, I'm fucking That's dead. one of the greatest voice lines. Oh, That's one god. of the greatest in like audience participation we've ever had on this show. Yeah, but also, if Billy can't hang around and have a beer with the boys after a game, I don't think we're going to oh. hang on. He, he had one beer. One beer. So you, so you reckon he can't hang around for the night and have a few beers with his people? We're gonna go to the Bahamas he and abandon his life. He was there. He had between two trash cans. Stick up for him. He had two trash between two trash cans with Bill. Million in the bank will change a lot of people's minds. It will. I reckon he'd just be like, and you know what? If he did, I'm there with you, Bill. From that voice note, B. Wilson three votes. Oh, (laughs) that's three. Fucking Uh, outstanding. Don't get too. There's another voice. Here we go. Good fuck it. Right, fellas. What would you rather? Million dollars on the line. You get ten chances to make one catch, one completed catch against Jalen Ramsey. He's covering you. Now you got Danny Dimes throwing, <laughs> right? Pre injury. <laughs> Ten chances, one million dollars. You can do as many routes, like many moves as you want. Oh. Actually, we'll cap it at ten moves. Um, are you taking it, or you can take twenty five k right now? But you have to beat Jameis Winston in an IQ test. What are you taking? <laughs> Let me know. So basically, it's twenty five k or get a catch on. I take. I'm taking my chance. No, I'm taking 25k. You know I'll take what? the 25k. He's gone from 100 million to a million. He's losing money. <laughs> oh. I'm taking the basic 25k. James nah. Winston's not smart. He's no, no, the, I'm. I'm taking, I'm taking a chance. He, I'm taking a chance that Jalen Ramsey will get real cocky and the just mo- let me get behind him for some reason. The motherfucker stole crab legs. Also, why can't I just like? Is there anything saying that if I can just off the ball, slant, get a ball thrown him in, just hope the fuck I hold onto it and just grab it, put it into my chest and just hope to fucking God. You run, you run a quick slant. Like, Jalen Ramsey's not that big. What? Pull up his stats, please. On, like, how, like, I'm not saying he's not good. I'm saying it would be a long shot. I would say there's more of a chance that I could get a catch on Jalen Ramsey than stop Megatron getting a catch. Yeah. With as many moves as I want, one-on-one on an open field. James. Like, I don't know. I reckon there's a... With a what Jim what if I get... A half a and, yard of separation, and, and Danny all, Dimes drops one in here, and I can just break all pro cornerback. Right, Come on, four boy. years ago he was. They've got him. He got folded by uh by. A, he, he looked like a wood. Oh, we miss also just we don't have to talk about world levels. World levels a fucking dog. Yeah, mm. yeah, dog. dog. Uh, so they've got him listed at uh one eighty five. So six one, ninety four kgs. Bro, so he's basically me. He's, gonna, he's a little bit shorter than me and an athlete. He's gonna jam- the, wear the same weight. I'm a bit taller, and he's an athlete. No, you're not. You're not. You're not taller than six foot one. Six three. Mm, mm, okay, I don't know about that. I might have to get the tape out. He, he, oh, <laughs> All right, Doyle. Who has to measure me? Every- no, no, I'm 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 190 centimeters. Okay, so it's so you, you're well over six one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm six. I'm just you. under six three. Good yeah. for you, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> no short kings. No, no, only well then. Only Brock. <laughs> Well, I love him. Though. I love him. Uh, great episode, guys. <laughs> no, I'm, t- I'm taking my chance. I got to catch on Jalen Ramsey. Dude, he's going to jam you up on the line. You're not going to fucking gas him nothing. What's stopping me from jamming him up? The, <laughs> <laughs> the only jam you're serving what? him is a fucking jam sandwich, bro. He ain't doing nothing. Maybe he slips. You never know. James. You don't know. Take your 25 grand. Beat James Winston. Maybe he tries to be a smart ass and he's like, you know what? I'm going to play off you on this one. And I just quickly turn and he, run. Maybe he tries to jam me. And instead of me actually running James. around, I run straight sideways and just catch a fucking like. Not change. the word. Just a quick tunnel. Like, are you telling actually, me? He lines no, up I'll, pressing me. I'm, I'm and I this. just go left straight he, away. Okay. He jams me think here. Of, and I just think put, about this. I just think put my hands out like that and just try and catch it. Think about this for a second. Yeah. His job is to cover the best athletes I'm in not, the world. I'm saying you are maybe I can take a contested freak <laughs> catch in you know, 10 I'm, chances. I'm, I'm Toby Green in it. I'm going to throw yeah. a fucking foot up. I'm going to defend. <laughs> I'm going to protect my space. Yeah. I'm going to take one in the like, chest. Why not? Well, maybe fucking, I run and just he's dive. He's fucking on. mutt that Toby What's, Green. I hate him. What is stopping me from off the ball, turning, going to my knees, and diving towards Danny Dimes, who throws it to me <laughs> low, 
and I just take a chest mark. Roll it has, it, like, to be, it has to be a forward pass though, right? No, it's, it's a, a catch. completion. A catch. Can it I get to be? It can I be, get as Tommy long as I catch it's, stuff? It's, it's, it's got to be for positive yards, though, right? Why he didn't say that? It was a catch. Oh, surely, B- Billy. Surely. If it's positive yards, I'm taking the twenty-five grand. <laughs> but if not, I'm taking a chance. I can just turn, dive, and he just literally like, hey, turn it, throw it at me. Three I'm going to dive forward and just try and fucking catch you, it you out can, long. You straight, can still right? do that from the line of scrimmage. You can yeah. line up in front why of the line of scrimmage. Why can't I line? It's why a, can't I line two yards off the ball? It's, so, a, it's a ticky touch. He's so you much can't? faster, so much better than you. Are you, you can't call that penalty? I can't line two yards off the ball, turn, run straight at Danny Dimes and hope <laughs> that he, and just dive forward for a low pass and catch it. I, I love the positivity. I, there's more of a chance than that than beat me being Tyreek Hill. <laughs> and we've even done the math on that. I still there's a better chance. I think yeah. there's there's a much better chance that you're going to beat. Mate, t- you're six foot Jameson. five. You're telling me he can't lob a ball up in the air and you can just maybe pluck one? No, because you just jump up and throw it. Because he there. could probably jump. He's probably got a thirty five inch fucking vertical, bro. No. Here's what I do: fake inside move, punch him if, in the throat. If the if the yeah, if the thing was, can you fight him? Yeah, I'll fight him, but I'm not going to oh, fucking beat Jalen him in an athletic Ramsey, contest. Jalen Ramsey kill you quicker than Dan Campbell. Was he going to shake me? <laughs> no, he fuck you up. Don't, Man, that guy be a dog. He'd be a fighter. He'd be a brawler. He's got a... Do you reckon you could put Jalen Ramsey in a headlock and noogie him? 100%, bro. <laughs> He's got a 41-inch I'm vertical. Cl- I'm clipping that to send to Jalen Ramsey because you know who will respond. Jalen <laughs> fucking Ramsey will respond. Dude, dude. Yeah, do you reckon you could beat Metca- Metcalf in a fight? Nah, not, not Metcalf, but fuck. But no, nah, I don't, I don't reckon... Jalen, Jalen, Jalen I'll, I'll fuck him up. I'll Josh, I don't reckon on. you can. He can do 14 reps on the bench press. Who? I reckon he's got you. Who? Yeah. Jalen Ramsey. 14, 14 reps of 100 kilos. Big fucking deal. Can you do that? Yeah. How, easy. Many, how many plates is it? Film it. It's two plates. Film it. I'm not That's filming. That's his big video. Oh! That's video. Oh, I'm not filming nothing. I want you to do 100 kilo press as many times as you can. No. We're full. So we can see. Content. You. Let's for let, content. Let's do an off season combine, NFL combine, where we all do the combine. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't even get a hundred up. I'd that be, is a fucking brilliant idea. And you know what? Help me, that. so I just fucking die under the bar. That, that no, was we'll also put his, it, we'll, was, put it, we'll put it in the Smith machine so you don't die. No, no, I want to have it so like I've got to like it's on me. Don't, don't put the barriers on, so I've got to like slide nah, them off <laughs> while I'm choking. We'll put it in the Smith machine with the stoppers so you don't die. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't get hundred up. I don't reckon. You will. You would absolutely. No, I'd, I'd, I'd I did this year. 100 kilos? Absolutely, you reckon. You're certain he could bench 100 no, kilos. No, I reckon he could get one up. How much I don't do you know, want to bet know. that I can't get 100 kilos up? What are you willing to bet on this? Do you back me? No, I, it's a dumb bet for you. I could just fake it, couldn't I? Yes. You know I'm not that sort of guy, though. No, but I'm, you could. I'm, an, I'm an effort guy. All right. Hey, 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 anyway. Do you shrink- Off-season, combine, we're doing it, the three of us. Are you stronger than Billy? <laughs> are you stronger than a fifth grader? <laughs> 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 Billy got one up in the off season. Yeah, but I'm not. I, I'm, yeah, I'm not. Got, I'm not a. One. I'm not a gym person though. You get like I haven't done bench press for probably four years. I'll coach you up. You rest- oh, if I coach up, I'm sure I could. You rest with like sure. one twenty each fucking weekend. Nah, hundred kilos. Hundred kilos yeah, is not, what, what I'm. Is a I I amount of weight. I understand I that, know. but I'm just saying he's stronger than he is. I'm trying to hype him up. You're trying to be. You're trying to hype me up so I film it. No, <laughs> he's so negative on himself. No, no, no. Off, he's off, trying to hype you up. Off season, we're doing it. We're doing a combo. I'm, I'm, I'm in. I'm right, in. Let's that's get that's the, the free, free draft show. But yeah, let's get out of here. Hey, Billy, thanks, thanks for your questions. Thanks, right. Billy. Awesome, spot on. Love you, boys. Peace Shout out, out everybody. Peace, love. Peace.